Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetShoes.com and today we have the new Motorola Moto X. So this is the new Moto X second generation which we have with us. This device has got a pretty big display. This is something which I can say for the first. And this device has a 5.2 inch uh, IPS LCD display which does give you very good viewing angles. So the display is looking colorful from almost any angle and you can view it from different viewing angles without any issues. The overall build quality of the new Moto X is definitely something which is very impressive. You have metal being used on the edges which actually makes this phone look very premium and you have rub rubberized matte finish uh, again this is not uh, plastic but very high uh, very good grade of rubber i guess which has been used at the back side it does not feel like it is plastic but it feels very good you have the motorola, motorola branding over there which looks very nice it is again metal over here which we have we have the camera over there which is a 13 megapixel camera with dual led flash which is there on the frame of the camera which is really good and at the top you have the 3 5 mm audio jack we have the sim card slot over here and this should uh, this should be a nano sim card and this is something which we will confirm later on when we take a look over here on this part uh, the edge is definitely looking very good this is again a metallic edge so the complete phone is being uh, attached together as, as far as the back is concerned as far as the front is concerned uh, through a metal frame which is definitely making this phone look very good you will also get this phone in other colors as well you do have a wooden variant of this particular phone as well we have the power and sleep key over there which is a small button gives you feedback but not great amount of feedback over here we have the metallic uh, volume rocker which also gives you good amount of feedback so both of these buttons give you feedback again uh, which is pretty good to feel them uh, you won't miss them even if you don't take a look over them and on the top on the front we have the nice metallic earpiece which actually looks good and again this earpiece also have loudspeaker so just like the new moto g the new motorola moto x also have dual uh, front loudspeaker so you have two loudspeaker over there on this device which actually are looking good in terms of the look and feel this device look very good the build quality of this device is also very nice the form factor of the device is also good even when it is a 5.2 inch display this device is pretty good to hold in one hand which is definitely making this device much uh, much better in terms of the overall form factor i can compare it with the lg g2 over there let me just remove this uh, plastic cover and i can compare it with the lg g2 so lg g2 is definitely a older generation device as compared to the new moto x but again both of these devices has 5.2 inch display and i can say that the dimensions of this phone is almost the same as lg g2 lg g2 with 5.2 inch display is one of the most handy phone you can easily hold this phone in one hand but you have plastic being used at the back side which is again uh, uh, kind of glossy and get fingerprints and scratches over time whereas on this device we have rubber being used which is actually making this device slightly better in terms of the build quality and the finishing and the overall grip of the phone is also very good when you hold this device in one hand you can easily hold this phone in one hand and the weight of the device is also light this is lighter than the g2 and this is lighter than some other devices in the same price segment however the price of the new moto x is not yet announced in india but it will come by the end of this month we will keep you posted about that let's take a look over the software UI and before we do that let's uh, take a look over the lock screen so once we lock the phone we can see that this is how the lock screen looked like and again the display is something which is very nice because the display has a very good color production I would say the color production of the display is very nice and again it goes to sleep uh, if you don't unlock it and this is how you can unlock it you can unlock the phone you can directly launch the camera or you can bring up the widgets on the lock screen itself so let me just unlock the phone so over here we have the home screen again these are the kind of home screen this device is also running stock android ui just like the moto g the new moto g this one is also running the stock android ui but it is running the google now launcher which makes icons uh, pretty big and readable the text is very readable the icons can be easily recognized the overall form factor of the phone is also good the overall uh, ui is very responsive the ui is responsive and fast enough to be used on this phone so it is working pretty well without any issues it is very smooth ui which you can have on this phone as of now the smoothest you can have uh, other device which can have another smo uh, smoothest ui like this one is the new moto g so let's take a look over the settings on this device again the notification center is kind of stock android there is nothing new we do have options over here to control the motorola wi-fi and other things and uh, the battery status is being indicated over there you can control over the location you can also add more toggles let's take a look over the version of android which we have on this device so we have android 4.4.4 which is the latest version of android at least as of now and you will also get over their updates on this device to update the version of android when it comes to the storage let me just take a look over the storage now so again this device have 
very good hardware specification it is running on the snapdragon 801 2.5 gigahertz quad core processor and we have 2 gb of ram on this device and as you can take a look we have around 10 gb available to the user so 10 gb is the total storage space but 7.1 gb is available to the user and this is something which we can say so 7 gb you will get on this device or where you have 10 gb of internal storage on this device uh, this device does not have support for sd card so you cannot install applications on sd card you cannot insert an sd card into this device but again i think it should be supporting the usb on the go feature so there is a mention of that so that means otg should be supported on this one we will confirm that later and as of now we can see that we do have support for tethering and portable wi-fi hotspot as well so you can create a wi-fi hotspot on this device to share the 3g internet that is something you can do you do have nfc support as well android beam is also there to transfer the contents and the files via nfc all that you can do let's take a look over the application scenario and let's take a look over the ram so again we have 2 gb of ram on this device and out of 2 gb of ram approximately 1 gb is being used and 849 mb of ram is free and the device is fairly responsive one thing which i really like about this device is that this device being a 5.2 inch display device has kind of thin bezels as compared to some other phones which again make this phone pretty good to hold in one hand it does not feel like a heavy phone it does not feel like a bulky phone it does not feel like a very big phone in hand taking a look over the phone dialer this is how the phone dialer look like you can easily dial the numbers over here again you do not have the option of making a video call on the phone dialer when we take a look over the messaging application here we have the messaging application on this messaging application we do have the keyboard over there in which the keyboard keys are pretty nicely spaced out from each other so you will not face any problem and you do have continuous input supported and with two fingers you can actually do the typing on this device which is definitely very good so swipe to type is supported with two fingers which is a very good option and when we talk about the overall ui the ui is very responsive the complete user interface on this device is just like stock android which is responsive and easy to use when it comes to typing you can easily type on this device even in the landscape mode as well which is definitely a good thing these are all the things which actually make this phone very good in terms of the overall ui the ui is as smooth as you can expect on any other phone out there let me just take a photo from this device from the rear camera so we will place uh, the lg2 over there for the camera and we are taking this photo right now in artificial light in a indoor room so let me just take this photo and show you the quality for the same again the camera UI stock Android on this device is still just like the new Moto G but it has auto focus which works perfectly fine and it works pretty fast as well and you can just tap on the screen to take a photo and I can show you the photo which we have just took so this is how the photo will look like as you can see the photo has good amount of details and the color production of the photo especially of the object is also very good it is almost this natural thing which we can see over there so it is almost the same thing the quality is definitely good from the rear camera as far as front camera is concerned I can show you the front camera view as well so this is how the front camera view will look like this device has a 2 megapixel front camera which can do a pretty good quality of video chat so which is something which i really like so video chat ca uh, can be done on this device and high definition video chat can be done from the front camera again it is a fixed focus camera you can take a photo of yourself you can take a selfie of yourself by just tapping over there this is how you can take a photo and let me just go back to the rear camera and i can show you the settings for the camera we do have hdr mode also supported panorama mode is also supported we, we can go to the video settings over here and i can show you the option for the video settings so once we tap on the video settings you can record high definition video at 1080p and you can also record slow motion videos at 1080p which will be high frames per second you can also record 4k resolution videos so 4k resolution videos can also be recorded ultra high definition video recording is supported on this phone which is definitely a good thing when it comes to the application there are decent set of application which will come pre-installed you will also get a link for sfield 8 so you can go and download it but again it does not come pre-installed but there is a shortcut to it when we talk about application we have all these applications which will come from Google these are the Google application there are some Motorola related application also which company installed let me just show you the game performance so we have temple run 2 which is also coming pre-installed on this device and I can just show you the gaming performance of this device by playing this game so let's take a look over the overall gaming performance this device is having the latest hardware which is snapdragon 801 which is a pretty good hardware and the adreno uh, 320 gpu is there on this device which is making this device pretty good on the gaming front i do not notice any kind of lag on this device i do not notice any kind of issues you can play high definition games as well but again uh, the fun gaming functionality will be limited as per the kind of storage you have on this device so if you have like limited storage which is around 10 gb available on this device you may not be able to install too many games on this device even with the user
good data and some other pictures which you will have on this device but the overall gaming performance of this device is decent enough and you can play these games pretty nicely without any issues the touch capacitor buttons are there within the display of the phone they are not within the body so they have they have saved the bezel size as well which makes this phone pretty good in terms of the design department as well taking a look over the other settings i can show you the ram scenario and other things Let's go into settings and take a look over the display. So when it comes to this display, we do have support for automatic brightness as well on this device. When it comes to the wallpaper, we have support for live wallpapers. Video wallpapers by default are not supported. When it comes to the wireless display, wireless display is also supported. So you have the option of doing a cast screen. You can use the Miracast devices to actually do that. You also have attentive, attentive display, which will actually stay on uh, once you're looking at it. So it can actually sense your eyes and you can actually make the display uh, to be on when you are looking at it. All these things are there and we have already shown you all these other options let's take a look over the location settings so you do have gps navigation also supported so you can use gps navigation on this device as well without any issues in all i would like to say that the new motorola moto x is definitely a good device especially in terms of the build quality the kind of premiumness you can see after holding this device in one hand is something which is not comparable to any other phone out there the design is very much different from any other high-end android phone which we have seen from other brands so i would like to give a very good thumb up to the new moto x i really like this device as compared to the previous moto x they have done a good amount of upgrade in terms of the display size in terms of the build quality the rubberized feel at the back actually makes this device feel very good when you hold it in hand again you do have secondary microphone as well on this device for noise cancellation which is there and the front camera is also pretty decent in terms of the overall quality the loudness which comes out from the loudspeaker from the front loudspeaker is also fairly loud so this device is definitely a good thing in case you are looking to buy a high end premium phone this will be pretty costly i would say this will not be more than 30000 rupees but near to 30000 rupees is something you will have to pay as far as price of this device is concerned it will come by the end of september in this month on Flipkart again you will be able to buy it from Flipkart only and it will remain exclusive over there but the kind of build quality you have I would like to give a thumbs up and that's all from us do let us know if you have any specific question for this device I would love to help you you can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is Abhishek signing off thank you